Friends, could you guys all hear me? <coughs> Friends, we are gathered together in the sight of God to witness and bless the joining together of Donald and Mackenzie in Christian marriage. The covenant of marriage was established by God who created us male and female for each other. With his presence and power, Jesus graced a wedding at Cana of Galilee, and in his sacrificial love, gave us the example for the love of husband and wife. Donald and Mackenzie come to give themselves to one another in this holy covenant. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? I do. you now in the presence of God and these people to declare your intention to enter into union with one another through the grace of Jesus Christ who calls us into union with himself as acknowledged in your baptism. Did you ask us a question? Shut up. <laughs> 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 We've come a long way. Yes, we have. Mackenzie, will you have Donald to be your husband? To live together in holy marriage? Would you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? If you will say, I will. I will, babe. Donald, stop looking at me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. He yelled at me. <laughs> Donald, will you have Mackenzie to be your wife? To live together in holy marriage? Will you love her? Comfort her? Honor and keep her? In sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. <laughs> the couple chose two scriptures and will invite those who are reading scriptures to come forward. I'll be reading from 1 John 4. And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. This is how love is made complete among us so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. In this world, we are like Jesus. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. We love because he first loved us. I'll be reading for, from 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. 
Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. It's, it's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. Mm -hmm. It's hot though. Because <laughs> I'm in here. <laughs> it's a memorable day. Because there's a reason why the 31st day of July was chosen. Means a lot to Mackenzie. Means a lot to her family. And it means a lot to all of us. But this day is also marked by this event this evening. And it is because of the joy of this evening that we assemble together. Donald and Mackenzie, to both of you, on your decision to stand before God and this congregation, to acknowledge the covenant of marriage. Marriage, a relationship that is very, very challenging. I, I don't think they're listening to me because they're talking to each other <laughs> and laughing. We are, you said challenging. Uh, yes, I <laughs> And the reason is they have known each other for too long. Yeah. And it is on that foundation that we all join you guys this evening. I, I don't have a lot to say. Well, actually, I have a lot to say. <laughs> but I wouldn't say a lot. Because I know the foundation. I know the two guys are serious with each other. Then I look at your wife to be careful. I know that you guys are serious with each other. And I know that the two families that are coming together have known each other for a long, long time. In fact, you guys practically grew up in each other's home. And for that, we are thankful. Marriage as we know it is a union between someone created by God, a man and a woman. It is a solemn relationship with lots of demands from each member of the team. Donald, I already know Mackenzie that she's hardworking. She is so busy every day. <laughs> No. I used to admire Mackenzie when she was in high school and would go from school to school related activities and still have a job. <laughs> now Donald I think was going to school and attending school related activities and refused to have a job. <laughs> <laughs> but that the, the, the marriage relationship has a lot of challenges and I know you guys will be a, will weather the challenges as they come you have good parents that you can always fall back on and you have friends all around you and apart from that you both believe in God and your faith continues to grow and as it continues to grow remember nothing is impossible with God the scriptures you chose from both 1st John and 1st Corinthians have a common theme and the theme in both scripture 
is centered in love. And it is that love that you have for each other. Don't just wake up every morning and say, babe, I love you, and expect that to be the end. Because love needs to be nurtured. Love needs to be nurtured. It's like Mackenzie ordered the flowers, and the flowers are beautiful. Look at the flowers, please. They are beautiful. And it would not have been possible for you to get those flowers today if somebody had not planted and nurtured them. And that's what a relationship is all about. Your relationship has a foundation, but you have to nurture the foundation every day. Give it some nourishment so that you can grow from strength to strength. And 50 years from now, most of us would be gone, but some people will be here to celebrate 10 kids and 20 grandchildren. <laughs> We're not having 10 kids. <laughs> I, I, pray, I pray that God will be with both of you throughout this journey. You know, I've done a lot of wedding. Very rarely I do a wedding where the bride and groom are so relaxed. <laughs> so relaxed. And we praise God for that. Congratulations to both of you. Let us pray together. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation, and giver of all grace. Bless and sanctify with your Holy Spirit, Donald and Mackenzie, who come now to join in marriage. Grant that they may give their vows to each other in the strength of your steadfast love. Enable them to grow in love and peace with you and with one another all their days, that they may reach out in concern and service to the world through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 When we were talking about your marriage, uh, I gave them the vows that the church prescribed for us to, to exchange and they both rejected it. Not in so many words. <laughs> but they wanted to write their vows and now is your time to exchange your vows. Donald first to Mackenzie. Okay. Don't give them a show. <laughs> Luckily I prepared ahead of time. <laughs> oh. You're still clothing. <laughs> Mackenzie Gloria Hopkins, you are my sunshine in the morning and my moonlight at night. You're my go-to, you're my ride or die, and more importantly, you're my soulmate. Mackenzie, you're the love of my life. I'm so proud that I get to have you as my wife. When it comes to things that I love about you, so much comes to mind. I love your passion for the Lord and your passion for helping others. And I know you get it honest from your mom and dad who I love deeply as well. But I also love your drive and your motivation. I love your competitive spirit. I even love that you never share anything with me ever, <laughs> but somehow still expect me to share with her as well. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny and pretty cute, but it's you. And I love you and I love you for that. Although we've known each other since we were kids, we've only dated for four years. If you would have caught us slipping up, you would have noticed on Facebook it originally said five <laughs> years. But quick edit made that uh, go away. So, um, but with us being only you know together for four years, I fell in deep and deeper in love with you every single day. The moment I knew I was going to marry you was right after I witnessed you take care of your Uncle Glenn, right before he passed. And in that time, I saw a side of you that I'd never seen before. I'd seen your strength, your hurt, and I saw your love. You were there with him every step of the way until his last breath. A few days later, you were here in this church in front of an entire crowd similar to this one, 
and you were celebrating his life. I saw so much strength in you that day. Um, and it truly is still a celebration. Today is Glenn's birthday. And today we get married. Um, we will continue that celebration. His presence is in this room right now. And he's watching us as we get married. How cool is that? Seeing you love and care for him, let me know that God placed you in my life for a reason. So Mackenzie, today, I promise the following. I promise to love you unconditionally through the good and bad and the sickness and health, and even when you don't give me any of the chocolate almond milk. <laughs> and I promise to protect you from harm's way and keep you safe. I promise to love the Lord with you and keep his presence in our home and in our lives. And most importantly, I promise to give you my whole heart that isn't designated for anyone else but you. Together, honestly, I think we're the ultimate team. We're better than Bron and Kyrie, Katie, <laughs> Russ. We're better than everybody. Um, I see us doing so many amazing things together. And I'm super excited for our future. I can't wait to make our new house a home. I can't wait to get a dog, even though you want one, like, right now. Let him in, Dijon. Wait. No, I'm just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm messing with you. That's not funny. That's not funny. We'll wait. She got another ring. Huh? Yeah. It's <laughs> not funny. There's a lot of things that I can't wait for, and I can't wait to raise a family together. I'm so excited to do this life with you. As long as, long as we both shall live, I promise to be the best husband possible and love you endlessly. I'll be your chocolate daddy Don forever if you'll have me. I love you. I can't kiss him. Yeah, I can't kiss him. I can? Yeah. Noah, you're done. You're fine. I'm really mad about this dog, though. <laughs> To my love, my husband, and my favorite, my chocolate daddy, Don. You look good, babe. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> he looks good. We made it here, and making it here was a journey. And I'm so excited to continue this journey and embark on becoming husband and wife. Today, we get to confess our love to our close family and friends. So to my guests, thank you for being here with a mask and no mask, so. But I'm going to speak for a few, and that's okay, because you have nowhere to go. <laughs> and on top of that, I also need to um, give a shout out for our Facebook Live, Joe, for pizza, um, what is it? Uh, yeah. yeah, they go check him out. That's his podcast. I was supposed to say that. Pizza pandemonium. Back to you, my love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this wedding looked a lot different than what we planned. But in my eyes, this is the perfect wedding that God planned for us. You see, we know when we were born that God created us and that he had a plan for both you and I. Mm -hmm. But we also know that godly things the devil tries to tempt and right from the beginning of our relationship the devil was trying to get us i say that because we celebrate a man's birthday today a man that i loved <sighs> but it was my living hell four years ago you watched me go through emotions that i've never been through i was happy sad angry and i cried daily most men would leave, especially when they first start dating. They would say, hey, hun, I think it's best to spend time with your family and friends, but not you, babe. You stayed there the whole time, and that's when I knew I loved you. Fast forward, here we are, not the wedding we planned. And in May, we had the decision to decide are we going to cancel this wedding and move it to 2021? But our mighty God, he did not have that plan for us. 
I get emotional because we are getting married in the church where we met the pastor that taught us about our Lord and Savior, the family that brought us together. And we wanted a relationship made up of God. And how more powerful is that? That even though I didn't want to get married here, and your mom prayed, I know she prayed hard for us. <laughs> we are here, and this is more perfect, so I will take a pandemic wedding. So not only that, God knew Kenzie he needed two qualities in a man. He needed somebody, I needed somebody who was going to give me grace and give me positivity daily. See, we all know I'm stubborn, outspoken, passive, emotional, and some will say dramatic, but I disagree. <laughs> but you, my friend, look at all the flaws and you bring out the best in me. You love me unconditionally, but you give me the grace that God gives us daily. And I like to throw negative parties, but you don't, my friend. You always stay positive, and for God, God knew I needed to be with you. I still don't understand why God picked someone like me to be with someone like you. But I'm done questioning it because I'm so blessed to have you. I tell everyone I hope they find their Donald, because guess what? They ain't getting you. Like my cousin said, if I left you today, she would take you. But that ain't happening. But I really pray that other people can find someone just like you, babe. All right, so I'm going to wrap it up, and I will need to promise you some vows. I do the basic through sickness or health. <laughs> Let's get it started. <laughs> yes! It's a Mackenzie wedding. Yeah. Um, poor or wealthy. <laughs> You're good. You're fine. No, I'm just laughing because I told her don't mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> Sadness or happiness. I promise to give you words of affirmation when that's number five on my love language. I promise to yell at you when you don't let me wash the dishes. I promise to say I'll cook once a month when we both know that's not happening. I promise to call something paprika, and it's not a plant. It's an animal, or it's a child. I promise to love you, but more importantly, I promise to give you the respect. I promise to kiss you every night, even when I'm mad. I promise to lie about what time we have to be somewhere, because we know you're going to be late. Thank you for being here on time. I promise to say I'm wrong, even when it kills me. I promise to honor you. I promised Donald to submit to you, and that was the hardest thing for me and God to wrap my head around. But I now know that I'm giving you my all. <sighs> but more importantly, I promise to love you the way God loves us. And I know sin comes, and I might not love you all the time like he loves us, but I will work towards that every day. So today, I get to scream, I'm your wife, but I have to do it in Kenzie's fashion. One, two, three. Ready? Okay. Donald, I'm going to be your wife. Donald, I'm going to be your wife. Good luck. Thanks. Good job. You did great. <laughs> Rings. Mackenzie, I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. 
I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Well you fix it. Looks good. Donald. Donald. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Donald and Mackenzie have declared, you have declared your consent and vows before God and this congregation. May God confirm your covenant and fill you both like with his grace. Friends, now that Donald and Mackenzie have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of arms, the receiving, the giving and receiving of rings, I announce to you that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. Amen. All your praying. Nice job. Look at my scene. Look at my scene. Nice job. Thank you. Look at my scene, though. Uh. <laughs>
<laughs> Let us pray. O oh God, you have so consecrated the covenant of Christian oh, marriage that in it is represented the covenant between Jesus Christ and his church. Send therefore your blessing upon Donald and Mackenzie that they may surely keep their married covenant and so grow in love and godliness together that their home may be a heaven of blessing and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God the eternal keep you in love with each other so that the peace of Christ may abide in your home. Go therefore to serve God and your neighbor in all that you do. Members of the congregation, be a witness to the love of God in this world so that those to whom God love is a stranger will find in each of you generous friends. And to this end, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship and sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you this day and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. You better say it. Don't look at him. <laughs> He's shaking. <laughs> Mark, it's not your day. <laughs> no, no, you may kiss your bride. Kiss your bride. Mm. Oh, it's all over. Mm, get it. <laughs> Thanks. Present. present <laughs> Thanks, guys. We did it. We did it. We did it, brother. <laughs> well, babe, I'm yours. Yes. We did it. We did it. I think we're going to lose. Thanks. Yes, I like it a lot. Looks very good.
boy, you know you want to put a ring on my finger, 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 finger. Yeah, baby. Put it on and make him wanna marry me. Yeah. Put it on and make him wanna marry me. Yeah. Put it on and make him wanna marry me. Yeah. Put it on and make him put 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 it on and make him wanna put it on and make him wanna marry me. Yeah. Put it on and make him wanna marry me. Yeah. Put it on and make him wanna marry me. Yeah. Put it on and put 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 it on. Boy, you know you wanna put a ring on my finger This loving so good, I should never be single He love the way I throw it like a bitch on the mound Put it on him, make him wanna wipe a bitch I can ride it like a cowgirl Up, down, up, down Such a bad girl I handle this in and out the bedroom It ain't a position that I can't assume uh, Here we go she can't do it like me After one night, he's addicted Oxy Now he's stuck to me like flea The best he ever had Got him down on one knee 